Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0 uh, the mod suite for the realism overhaul uh, setup for Kerbal Space Program in our last episode we failed as like the six episodes before that we failed uh, the lunar orbit uncrewed is the contract we're going to fail this expires in three days we're gonna hit take a hit of 240,000 which almost makes us bankrupt. Uh, <laughs> oops! Uh, science data from around the moon, we got plenty of time. Lunar flyby, we got plenty of time. Sounding rocket high, we're probably gonna lose this one too. It's gonna cost us about uh, 3,800. So, uh, what we are going to do is pick up this contract for a lunar impactor. It gives us a year or so to complete it and will give us an 84,000 credit advance. Now, uh, what we got boiling on decks, reconditioning the launch pad from our last failed launch, but we got the RA-8C, which is the one I actually meant to launch two episodes ago, but instead screwed up and rush built the 8B, which, uh, like the three of them before that, failed miserably. Uh, I also bit the, built the GR-1-A, which is a, quote, new launch vehicle that I'm actually not that excited about. Um, really, its slot should be reserved for like a Generation 3 launcher, which we don't have the technology for yet. Uh, we've got all of this stuff burning on deck, but staged combustion is <clears throat> kind of what we're waiting for to build our next family of launch vehicles. Basic construction will help us out a bit. That'll give us a new tank types, etc., etc., in which case we'll then have to go back and update these GR1As. I basically built these because I wanted to have some launch vehicles available should we be completely out of money and be able to still try to fulfill some contracts that they, the advance might not be big enough to cover the cost. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to warp to the completion of the R8C and try to put that in orbit of the moon and hopefully the uh, transfer stage will be able to impact into the moon to fulfill that contract. So we'll just uh, time warp ahead a little bit. And any minute now our money's gonna all go away, I'm assuming. It should have already happened by now, maybe not. Alright, and there it goes. All of our money now gone. So space agency is in a little bit of trouble but uh, I'm really hoping that the 8C here will be able to fulfill a lunar orbit contract which uh, after taking a huge hit to our reputation and to our money we might not have that much available oh, let's go take a look science data from space around curve and that's like a freebie we should totally do that and yeah the rest of these are not RA-8B adjusted orbit of Kerbin. That's kind of a waste of money. Yeah, mm -hmm. none of this will even cover the cost of that launch vehicle. That's not even a real thing at all. So uh, this flight, what we're going to try to do is lunar impactor, lunar flyby, space around Kerbin, space around the moon. That uh, those combined will easily cover the cost of our launch vehicle and hopefully get us out of a big rut here. So let's bring that up and roll that out to the pad. All right, and launch. What? what? So, yeah, here's hoping, and hopefully with the uh, some of these nodes that we'll unlock soon, we'll be able to upgrade this AJ-10, get a little bit longer burn time. We were looking at like seven minute burns. All right, the rocket is fueling. Let's set our target and bring up, whoa, not KSPDA, but we'll put that away in a minute. Rendezvous planner. Thank you, Mechjeb. 
Thank you, Chaospedia. 56 some odd degrees. So we're just going to let that inclination get down closer. Yeah, I was like, I have thought about building a ascent guidance profile for this. Oh man, totally screwed that up. 0.82 is not that bad, really. And it's a nighttime launch. Sorry. All right. Well, three, two, ignition. sequence all right now we can really rely on the uh, we've got a lot more acceleration now a bit more than a G now that the, the stage is a little more than halfway burned through RD-108. Alright, and our 0.25 relative inclination, that is about as good as it's going to be, so we're just going to let that go. Continue to lean in. We're now outside of the atmosphere, so really I should have been leaning into this a lot more. But again, I was talking, not paying attention. My bad. Mars. I think we should uh, get our asses there. What do you say? <laughs> Soon enough. Let's try to land stuff on the moon for a bit first, and then we'll start trying to do some flybys once we have a launch vehicle that I don't completely screw up by trying to make a five-minute engine run for seven minutes be neat, right? Okay, we need to pitch up a bit. Uh, 
I need to bide some time on that time to Apogee. I don't know how much longer we've got left on this stage. Probably about a minute or so. Somewhere around there. Uh, please no engine failures. Please no engine failures. Please no engine failures. In the bane of my existence. But we've got a lot of time to fill the contracts that we have on the boards right now. So it's really not critical. Um, we actually do have the money to build a couple more of these. They're really not that expensive a rocket. Um, less than 20 grand. Memory serves. Alright, I need to build a lot more time to have. So unfortunately we're just going to have to incur a bunch of steering losses here. Because uh, sailing past your apparatus while trying to make an orbital insertion is just not beneficial to our cause here. And like our upper stage here, our second stage, burns for like seven minutes. So really having three minutes of time to Apogee at SEP is, I would say, fairly nominal. I guess that would be what I'm looking for. I don't know if we're going to get there or not. Yeah, maybe. I might be crossing. Oh yeah, we're going to make it. No worries here. It's about 5G's acceleration. And yeah, now we'll hit cut off. There it is. Yep. The light is good on the RD-105. Start to bring that in, zero out some of these steering losses. 47. Alright, let's just fire it straight at the horizon. Now I'm really hoping that with the as light as we've made the upper stage to the AJ-10 stage that we'll have more than enough to hit orbit just off of this engine alone. At, uh, what's it, 57? I'll get us to about 77. So maybe, maybe not. Uh, really, I don't think that's going to be quite enough to hit orbit. I could be entirely wrong. But, yeah, we'll see. Again, sorry for the nighttime watch. I really don't uh, get a lot of control of these things. We we'll probably have to, as usual, split this into two different episodes to keep the, the time constraint short. Right, let's, uh, let's run our science package and clear up that one contract. Are we going to actually get anything? No, we'll just transmit something to fill the contract. Science data from space around curve 4,500. Complete. Contract expired. Contract expired. Yep. Right. Time to have This is not falling nearly as quick as I could. So this is probably going to not be an optimal launch. We can just keep that angle at the horizon. Try to get as much of this in the lateral speed as possible. And great. Right. Where are we in relation to the moon? Oh, okay, so it looks like our periapsis is going to be about our stepping off point. So we do want to keep it low. Which I guess is good if we have to end up using our AJ-10 stage to round out our orbit. Um, we got to kill this one a little early, you know, I'm not going to be sad. Well, maybe we will get there. Um, we only got about 1,600 left. 7700. It's about. Yeah. It's kind of right on the borderline, isn't it? Well, take a quick save and do something super risky. Just uh, try to expedite some of this. Time won't through it. Time work back. Adjust to horizon. I think all my probe block is now. Alright. Lock that battery also. Don't let me forget to undo that. It's been a while since I've had a chance to play, so. Here's over to you. Alright. And again, still the time warp. Let it wiggle. 
not going to intervene with controls. That's how stuff gets broken. Yes! We're in orbit with fuel to spare. That is amazing. Alright. Go ahead. Ditch that stage. Fire up our RCS. Engine's not on, so we can just use standard throttle control. And push ourselves just a little bit away. There we go. Alright. Yes. Perfect. Alright. I'm really glad that worked so well. I'm sorry it was all at night time. We will pick up, hopefully, our lunar transfer in our next episode, coming very shortly after this one. So thanks, everybody, for joining me. I really appreciate you hanging out. So uh, I will see you next time. See ya.